This is MathGuide.com. My name is Mark Herodimos. Today we're going to take a look at similar figures. Uh, I'd like to show you an example. This will be example number one, one of two examples. Let's assume that these two figures are similar. And let's say the names of these two triangles are R, S, T, and X, Y, Z. All right, so if those are the names of the figures, we would have to know which angles correspond. So we would have to be given a similarity statement. So, for instance, let's say we knew that R, S, T, that triangle, is similar to triangle X, Y, Z. All right, now the reason why the similarity statement is important is because it does indicate which uh, angles are congruent to which, which kind of speaks to the properties of similar figures. Okay, here's property number one. Uh, when we know that two figures are similar, we know that the corresponding angles, in other words, R and X, those two are going to be congruent to each other. I know that S and Y are going to be congruent to each other. And I know that the final two, T and Z, are going to be congruent to each other. All right, so that's a property of congruent figures, that corresponding angles are congruent. The other property is uh, that corresponding sides, although they're not congruent, they're going to be in the same ratio. All right, so what does that mean? Okay, well, let's say we knew some sides. So let's say we knew that this is 15. So the length from R to T is 15. Length of X to Z is 5. Let's say we knew that YZ was 4. What we could do is actually use this information to figure out the length of S to T. All right, so let's say we don't know this distance. I'm just going to call this distance little r since it's opposite angle r. Okay, so I'm going to call that distance little r from s to t. All right, so what we can do is now build a proportion. So what does a proportion mean? Well, it means I've got two equal ratios. So for instance, I know that the ratio of rt to xz, see rt to xz, right, so this ratio, let's say it's 15 to 5, I know that that ratio has to be the same ratio of st to yz because it's a property of similar figures that the ratio of these two sides has to be equal to the ratio of those two sides. So that's why I'm setting them equal and that's how you get a proportion. Two equal ratios are a proportion. Now you should remember this from geometry that you just simply cross multiply. It means in extremes. So you do 5 times r is 5r you know that 4 times 15 is 60. You're going to divide both sides by 5. I can show the work. And you're going to get r is 12. So I know that little r has a distance of 12. Okay, so we've demonstrated the properties, shown how to build a proportion, and even solve the proportion, and now we have that length of st. Okay, let's take a look at another figure. So we can kind of get the idea of what the power is of similar figures. For our second example, I'd like to get practical. In this figure, it clearly could be seen that we have a tree and we have a man or some person. Uh, what we're going to do is take a look at what would happen if we knew some distances. For instance, let's say we knew that this tree cast a shadow. And let's say the tree had a 40 meter shadow. So at the same time of day, the man had a 5 meter shadow. Hmm, why is this interesting? Well, that's because if you take a look at some lengths, like let's say the height of the man, let's say the height of the man is 2 meters, Let's say we don't know the height of the tree, h. We actually can figure out what the height of this tree is. All right, and the reason why we can do that is because 
if we look at this angle that goes all the way to the top of the tree, and we look at the angle that goes from the man's sh shadow to his top of his head, it turns out that these two figures are similar. Okay, the reason why they're similar is because here's a right angle. So there's a right angle here, and there's a right angle here in this triangle because heights are always measured perpendicular to the ground. So uh, if we have these two shadows being measured at the same time of day, it turns out that this angle is going to be the same as this angle because the sun's rays are parallel and they cast uh, corresponding uh, angles that are going to be congruent between these two figures. The lines to the sun are parallel at this distance to Earth, practically parallel. All right, so it turns out that I've got two pairs of angles congruent between the two triangles. Therefore, these two triangles are similar with each other. Now, the benefit of having similar triangles is that we now know ratios are equal because this is the second property of similar triangles. All right, for instance, I know the height of the tree, right, over here matches the height of the man. I know that the shadow of the tree matches the shadow of the man. They're corresponding sides between those two triangles. And I'm putting the big distances on top and the small distances on the small triangle on the bottom. All right, so we've got our proportion. Two equal ratios is a proportion. Now we're going to cross multiply. So 5 times h has got to be equal to 2 times 40, which is 80. Now we're going to divide both sides by 5. And we're going to get, let's see, 80 divided by 5 is 16. So now we know that the height of the tree has got to be 16 meters. So this is a far superior method than sending your friend to the top of the tree so he could hang down a tape measure. Okay, make sure you check out all our other uh, videos, interactive quizzes, and text-based lessons at mathguide.com. Take care.